Today is an exciting day. We are celebrating 50,000 subscribers on my main channel, Kellyanne Smith, and we're talking about Amazon Prime Day. Now, Amazon has created a second set of Amazon Prime Day. They do one in the summer, and now they're doing one in October as well, and they're doing another Amazon Prime Day for Amazon users, and this is so exciting. So not only is this exciting because we can personally get some great deals, but we can make some more money. So today we're gonna to talk about how to maximize Amazon Prime Day because guys, we can really, really increase our income with this and make some really good, good sales. But we wanna make sure that we do it correctly and then I'm gonna give you some hacks to increase your sales as well. I have been on Amazon, making money on Amazon as an affiliate for six years now, so gotten some tricks under my under my under my belt now Amazon Prime Day this time around this fall is going to be October 11th and 12th so we want to start getting those sales ready we want to start getting those blogs ready and those posts optimized to make sure that we are maximizing it and also come up with a game plan for when Amazon Prime Day is because that's going to be our Super Bowl that is when we are going to be grinding it out and making sure that we are maximizing our sales now if your audience doesn't have Amazon Prime this is a great way to start off and making some commissions talk about Amazon Prime and talk about the benefits a lot of times we only think about the two-day shipping but there's so many other benefits that Amazon Prime has and you'll also get a bounty so you'll get a bounty with Amazon Prime and I believe it's $3 that you'll get for every sign up that you have and you can offer them a 30 day free trial. Now also with Amazon Prime, they're gonna get $0 delivery with Grubhub Plus. They're gonna get unlimited Amazon photo and they're also gonna get over 2 million songs with Amazon Music. That's amazing. So start promoting Amazon in your blogs as well. And that's gonna be a great way to get those bounties, which is that direct cash right there. Now, when you're gonna be promoting Amazon, now you're gonna be promoting them as an affiliate. So we wanna make sure that we have our proper disclosures. You always, 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 always have to have a disclosure. Whether you are promoting on Instagram stories, having hashtag affiliate, whether you're promoting in a YouTube video, you have to have a disclosure as well. You have to have one in a newsletter. You have to have one in a blog post. You have to have disclosures. It is so important. If you don't, you can get into major trouble. Kim Kardashian is actually getting in a lot of trouble for a sponsorship that she did not disclose. They will eventually, potentially come after you. So you wanna have your disclosures. It's something that you just gotta get used to doing. And if you don't have a disclosure template, I'll have it linked down below in the description box for a full disclosure, privacy policy, terms and conditions template for you guys down below in the description. It's really, really important that you need these on your websites, on your blogs. It is vital. You need to have these, no questions asked. Now, when you are going to be talking about these Amazon Prime deals, the lightning deals, you wanna get your audience excited. You wanna be sharing deals that you're getting. You wanna be sharing the top deals. You want to get your audience excited about them and not just a, oh, she's just trying to get money from us. No, genuinely talk about their products. Genuinely talk about things that you are already using or ones that you've used in the past and you genuinely use them and you can even physically show them around your house. It's really gonna show your authentic in it and that you actually did purchase the product and not just being like, oh, this is gonna have a really high commission. I wanna talk about this. No, you genuinely use the product and you value it and that is gonna be a great way to build that trust with your audience being like, oh, oh, okay, she really loves that. She really uses it. Maybe you show yourself using it. I recently had that with these Amazon curl things, these like heatless curls and I looked crazy, but I posted the link and I got a bunch of sales from it because I showed, hey, this is me genuinely using the product. I love it, it's working. My hair doesn't hold a curl, it held a curl and therefore people bought it. So use the products genuinely. Now keep in mind, this is a two day sale. So one thing that you can also do is have your products that you're promoting, your blogs, your newsletters, all of that, your top products that you're promoting, but then on day two, because it's a two day sale, so you have day one after day one is completed, have a best sellers and say, hey, these are the top items this week. These are the top items of Amazon Prime Day and these are the top ones. These are the ones that people loved and have a best sellers. That's gonna be like, oh, you know what? Other people are buying that, I'm gonna buy it as well. So look into your analytics. 
Amazon has great analytics in the back end. Definitely look into those and you can see, okay, this is what people are purchasing and I want to promote that as well. Next thing you can do is do a survey and find out what your audience wants to see. Does your audience want kitchen gear? Does your audience want beauty? Does your audience want fashion? What does your audience want? You want to promote products that they want, not just what you want or not just the high commission. You're gonna make a lot more sales, even if it's a lower commission percentage on items that your audience actually wants versus just the high sale, just the high com commission percentage. So if one is a 7% commission percentage, but no one's really buying it, but then you have a 3% you can get a lot more money back because people are actually gonna be purchasing. So pull your audience, see what they want, see what ones they want. I will also do like, ask me anything, and I'll be like, or if you want a link, and I'll have people be like, hey, what was that swaddle that you promoted? Or hey, what was that thing that you talked about? Can you give me that link? And then other people are like, oh, that's really cool. I wanna do that as well. It's a great way to promote it on like Instagram stories as well. Keep in mind that with Amazon Associates, your link is good for 24 hours and you get those sales for 24 hours if they click on your link. So even if they don't purchase the item that you're promoting, but they purchase something else, you're gonna still gonna receive the commission on their entire purchase. So keep that in mind when you're promoting that they don't necessarily have to purchase that item, but if you can get them intrigued with something that they're like, what the heck is that? I need to check that out. Or how much does that cost? What? And they're like, mm, no, I don't wanna buy it, but I do have to get my vitamins. So I'm gonna get my vitamins now. So the more people that you can get to click on your links, even if they don't purchase that specific item, you're gonna make more money because they're clicking on your links and most people, once they're on Amazon, they get sucked in and they're gonna be buying something anyways that they already needed. Next, I wanna show you how to create a Amazon link, how to add it to a YouTube video or a blog post. So here are swaddles. Now I have a blog that I actually wrote specifically because of Amazon Prime Day. I'm like, all right, I wanna pump out some content in the week or two beforehand so that I have this with these new Amazon Things. So this one is the best baby essentials you can buy on Amazon for zero to 12 months. So here's the blog. Now I am wanting to do these swaddles. So I'm gonna show you how to create a link. So I'm going to go up here and we're gonna to go to text and then you have short link or full link. I'm gonna click on short link and copy that. Then I'm gonna go back to my Elementor and I'm going to highlight it. Then I'm gonna click on the link, Amazon link. And you always want to go to open a new tab because with your website, you don't want them leaving your website and not coming back. So you wanna open a new tab and that way they purchase and they come back to your website, keep on reading. So then we're gonna update and that's gonna add it there. Now you can have the same short link. You can have that on Instagram. You can have that in your YouTube videos. You can have that wherever you want, but you're gonna grab that link there. Now I wanna embed a picture. So we're gonna go up here to image and there's different size options, but I'm gonna to go to large and it's gonna give me this long, long HTML code. So we're gonna copy that. Then I'm gonna go back here to my website and I'm gonna take the HTML and I'm gonna drag it in. And then I'm just gonna paste it. I'm gonna leave it as is and paste it. So now when someone goes to my website, if they click that image, then they're gonna, I'm still gonna receive the same commission and I'm still gonna receive the credit. Same with the link. You can also do text and image. So if you wanna show text and image, you can do that as well. I'm gonna show you what that's gonna look like. So let's go here and we'll just change this. You're just gonna paste it. And that's gonna give them the actual Amazon link. And it's gonna say that it's Amazon. It's gonna give them the price and all that and then shop now. You can also do it with show border, we can take away the border and let's see what that looks like. Paste it and then that's just gonna be without the border. So you can do that as well. I personally think it looks better with just the image. So I personally just do the images and let's do that and then let's hit update. And now I'm gonna show you what it looks like on the actual website. Now here's the blog post, and then you can see here, this is the image, and then here's the link. So if we click Swaddles, it's gonna open up in a new tab, and then we can see it right here. So here's the, the item, and we can add it to our cart. So embedding links in your blog is super important, 
Again, remember disclosures. Another thing that you can do is idea lists. And these are great ways that you can have a storefront and you can say, hey, shop my idea list or it's in my idea list. It's on my Amazon storefront. And then that way, if they buy anything from this, then you're going to get credit. You can also send people to it. So in my blog here, I have, let's see here. If you don't have Amazon Prime, try it free for 30 days. So that's back to the beginning of getting them so that I get that $3 bounty. But then check out all the items mentioned here. So if they want to check out everything and see it all in one place, they can go to my baby favorites and then they can see everything right there and they can shop right from here and visually see it all. So having these storefronts where you can see everything up front or if I wanted to say, hey, check out my YouTube gear, check it all out so I can have the camera here, the lighting, the microphone, all the different things that I use for my YouTube channel, I can just send them right to my gear list. So that's a great way to increase those sales as well and a great way to say, hey, you want all my information, you want all the products I use, here it is right here for you. If you want my whole face of makeup, my whole skincare routine, here it is right here for you. You can shop the whole thing. I hope this was helpful. Guys, we can really, really, really make some great money with Amazon Prime Day. So let's do it. Let's get it. Let's increase our income with affiliates. I love affiliate marketing. Let's keep the conversation going. If you want to know how much I make every month on YouTube with my income and my expenses, it's important to look at both. Check out this video here. Oh.